know, so DEX is short for digital experience. It's been a staple for Samsung products for probably two years now, but you had to get a separate dock in order to get it to work. And usually their whole idea was you'd plug it into a desktop layout. So you'd have a monitor, a mouse, and a keyboard. In this case, I am using my HP Elite X3 laptop. It's not a laptop, it is a dumb terminal, but it seems to work just fine with the Note 9. So as you can see, I plugged it in and the, the DeX interface appears, which means I can use this laptop laptop to power or to control the desktop experience from the Note 9. And this is quite powerful if what you need can be accessed through your smartphone. In my case, I get Outlook Mail. I get a number of uh, Android apps. And there's also some productivity applications like Office 365. So you can get work done just using your Note 9 and an accessory like this. And I know they're not, you know, this is not supported out of the box. Uh, the, the lap dock here is, is about, I'd say about two years old now. So they didn't make this with DEX in mind. This is actually designed for Windows 10 on Continuum, which was a feature for Windows Phone. Windows Phone no longer exists uh, in, in, in any current form, but it's nice to see some of those ideas can still, can still sort of work using the, uh, these sort of uh, accessories. So is this enough of a, of a, a buying point? For the Note 9, I think for some users it is. DeX is probably the best implementation of the desktop in your pocket idea. And as proven by this, you don't have to just rely on a desktop setup. You can take this, a laptop basically, you know, take it when you travel, and you should be, you know, you should be good to go. You can get access to your browser. Uh, you can get external ports, and it really expands the use of a top-end flagship smartphone like the Note 9. Since you are you are already paying so much for for the Note 9, it has great storage, good processor, a powerful display, and now because of the Dex functionality being built into the phone itself, you don't need a dock. You need maybe this or another similar product can, can sort of get you through, I would say, 60% of the work that you need to do on a computer. So that's that for me, that's interesting. That was quite a revelation. Um, I'm not keen on using it on my desk with a monitor. Um, for some people, you know, that makes sense. You dock it in the office. But since I'm a mobile worker and I go I work out at coffee shops, hotels, this for me is, is quite powerful. Being able to get you know, most of your apps, even though they're the Android versions, running on a laptop can, can sort of be a bridge solution to having an ultra portable and a phone or a tablet. So while the DeX interface works well you get full screen browsers full screen mail and various apps and other applications like Netflix and in this case Instagram this is as big as they will get you cannot you cannot make the, the windows any bigger so clearly that's because no one probably foresaw that they were going to be using their applications in a, a screen of this of this size well will that change now that depends on 
you know, the developers or the APIs, if they can sort of work the way Windows 10 does, where it notices screen real estate and expands as needed, I think that would be a great way to sort of mitigate the limitations. The good news is, though, that most Google applications, like YouTube, they can go on a full screen and they work phenomenally well. I mean, it's just uh, quite, quite impressive to see. And that's being powered by the phone. Same with, with mail. And same thing with, with Word. Um, and the performance is, is fast. It's not choppy or slow like, like a netbook or a Chromebook. And I think that's you know, credit to has to be given to USB Type C as being you know the end all be all IO to make it happen. So yeah, now that's just a quick look at the DeX functionality of the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 on a two-year-old lap dock accessory made for Windows Phone. This has been Gajo Sevilla for Canadian Reviewer. Thank you very much for watching.